Hey guys, Adam here. So in this video, I want to continue on with the pre-selling idea and give you some other strategies that you can use. Now we're at a very simple email submit page. This one's for a $125 Burger King gift card. So if somebody were to come here, enter their email address into this little box and click apply now, I would get paid a couple of bucks and I'd be happy. And if I sent a lot of people here, I'd get paid a couple of bucks a lot of times and so would you. However, that person would then enter Burger King's funnel and they'd be gone forever. You'd never hear from them, see them again. And there's nothing, nothing wrong with that, but why not capture the lead and get paid at the same time? So how do you do that? Well, one way is to create a similar looking page to this. Now, although I'm not gonna show you in this product how to do it, and before you get angry, there's a reason for that. Everybody watching this video, a lot of you will have different plugins for creating capture pages, different softwares and just because I show you one way, the, the, the plugin that I use, it doesn't mean that you will have that particular plugin. I don't promote plugins or promote softwares in this product. So use what you're comfortable with, use what you're used to. It's going to save you a lot of headaches uh, when you actually start creating these pages. So first of all, you, you want to create something similar. Now for images, you just quickly hop on over to Google Advanced Image Search. And that's just google.com forward slash advanced underscore image underscore search. And you type in your keyword here and you scroll down to usage rights. And you want to put here, feel uh, free to use or share even commercially. Because you want to do this ethically. You don't want to be stealing images that you have no right to use. Now for your, let's go back here. For your background image, you want a fairly large sized image. It's much easier to make an image smaller than it is to make it bigger. Uh, so let's just click on one that we think might look good. How about this one here? And you just click on the image and you can see the dimensions. This is a very, very large image. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, so, Again, you just scroll through and you pick stuff that you think would look good. This is this wouldn't be a good choice, nor would this. You kind of get the picture, but you pick something that looks pleasant. Then you would keep the verbiage fairly similar. However, you would want to tell them something, for example, please enter your email address. Uh, you will be asked to verify your email address on the next page. And when they enter their email address, you would redirect them to this particular page and I want to show you how to do that on the next in the next module if you don't know how so that's one thing that you could do uh, that way they automatically go onto your autoresponder and they, they then get delivered to this page anyway where they can then enter their email address and then you get paid now you might be thinking well that might hurt conversions possibly true it could hurt conversions but it might not you don't know um, it's worth capturing the lead in my opinion and losing a couple of people than just not getting any leads and not building my list. And granted, I wouldn't I wouldn't be building a Burger King list, but I may be building an email submit list in the you know, fast food slash coffee uh, industry. Um, depend coffee niche. It really really depends. Um, another thing you could do is redirect them to a Facebook fan page, um, so you can build a community of people looking for coupons and gift cards on your Facebook fan page. And then you host this act this actual page here, which is your CPA offer. Uh, you have a link to it on your Facebook fan page, and therefore people can click on it there and uh, go through the funnel, and and you get paid. That's one kind of page. Now another kind of page is this one here, which we call a. Well, it's got various names, but some people call it a content-rich landing page. So it's still a landing page, still a squeeze page. They've got to enter information, but there's a lot of content on here. There are a lot more images. It's a lot more colourful. Um, there are a lot more, well, a lot more everything really. Uh, as you scroll down here, there are links as well. You know, there's a privacy policy, a contact us, supplement facts. This is clickable as well. Now, to replicate this, of course, as you can imagine, isn't so simple. There are a couple of options. Um, now, if you think you can do it, great. Uh, I certainly couldn't do it because I'm not technical enough. I would have a couple of options. One would be to outsource it, and I would recommend going to Olance or eDesk. Uh, was it Elance and Odesk even? Get my words mixed up there. Uh, probably cost you about $150, $200 to do this. So you've got to be uh, seriously going into this niche and have done your research to warrant spending that kind of money on a content-rich landing page. All I would do is basically send this page and tell some people that you want to 
replicate it, but you can't just copy it exactly. You will want to have uh, maybe different copy. Um, you'd want to make sure that your links are clickable. Um, and of course, it all needs to go to, this is where it gets complicated, it needs to go to your stuff. So if I were to click here, uh, contact us, this pop-up appears, it's obviously got to be your details. Uh, the privacy policy has to be your privacy policy. It can't just be exactly the same one because it's different websites. You're, you will have a different URL because it will be your page. It's very, very detailed. You want to make sure that it's clickable. Um, some of these pages have, as seen on CNN, Fox TV and so on, these must be clickable as well. So when it's replicated, it's not the same, it's similar. Um, but it's going to have to have your copy, your, your basically your your spin on these things, and it takes a lot of work. So that's, uh, but it's one idea. It's one thing that you can do. Now, in order to replicate something like this by yourself, the only way I could probably think of is coming over here, which is lead pages. And I've already brought up the page that uh, you could use. It's the Natalia and Frank Kern long form squeeze page and I'm not going to go through it in too much detail. The only reason that I choose this one is because it's the only one that you know has has a space to have a lot of information. You'd have to change the images, you'd have to change the copy um, and you know, of course you'd want to connect it to either redirect to the main offer or to your or to another place to your Facebook fan page and then you build your list at the same time those do take a lot more work but by having your own copy and having your own pages you're pre-selling your leads and you're building your list at the same time very very important that you build pre-sell your leads and build your list at the same time because you get double the benefit you get a list that you can promote related offers to and you make money at the same time does it get better than that i don't think so so anyway, we're going to stop this video now and we're going to continue with this whole pre-selling slash list building uh, module 8 and 9 in the next video. So I'll speak to you soon. Adam Payne over and out.